we have here a chapter that Christianity loves to use and quote a lot of so that we don't have to get circumcised. We don't have to do circumcision because there is a sect of the Pharisees who were pursuing Paul and Barnabas all over the place and telling them all these things that people had to do if they wanted to keep Torah. You got to do this, 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 this. And circumcision is the one you got to do now. So people will quote this and say, well, we don't have to do circumcision. But they don't read this one verse. Therefore, I judge that we should not trouble those from among the Gentiles who are turning to God. These are people who are starting to learn. They're just coming along. But that we write to them to abstain from things polluted by idols. Okay. From sexual immorality. Okay. From things strangled and from blood. For Moses has had throughout many generations those who preach him in every city being read in the synagogues every Sabbath. Yes, you're new. Yes, you don't understand all these laws. So, first of all, I want you to stop eating blood, eating things that are strangled. Stop taking all the candy from the idols and thinking that it's okay. And then, you can learn the rest of the law every Sabbath. Oops, that's not Sunday, but every Sabbath when you go to the synagogues where they teach you about the laws of Moses. And over time, you'll learn the kosher laws. You'll learn the Sabbath. Over time, you'll learn about the Holy Days. Over time, you'll learn about the Shemitah. Over time, you'll learn about circumcision. The apostles didn't say any of those laws were canceled out because you're a Christian. They just said, you don't need to do everything on day one. You're to go to your assembly on Shabbat where they teach you Torah. They teach you the first five books of the Moses. They teach you that the is laws to be kept, not that the laws to be done away with. Like the Jews are going around, okay, if you want to keep keep this Torah with us, you got to get circumcised. That's not the first thing you got to do. The first thing you got to do is learn the Torah. Learn to love Jehovah. Learn to be obedient. As you learn Torah, as you learn the commandments, as you learn the things that Moses taught, today, next week, next year, you have got to apply them to your life as you learn them. Can I force everyone here on their first Sabbath meeting to come and obey all the laws that you don't even know exist yet? No, that is what I believe Paul is doing. Eventually, once you keep going to the Sabbath on the Saturday and learning Moses, you will be compelled to be circumcised because it is a command. Abram did it. He was 99 years old. Did it matter to Jehovah that Abram wasn't circumcised when he came and made the covenant with him when he was 85? No. On the eighth day, you're to circumcise the male child. And if it's the eighth day, what does that mean? Wrap it around the way sheath day on the eighth day, the Feast of Shavuot on the eighth day, or the eighth Sabbath, wrap it around the Jubilee year, wrap it around the eighth day feast, put them all together and start to understand. Wrap that around the eighth millennium and put that together and understand Jehovah, what he's showing you.